clear all of you? Yes, whenever they give the selling price, we have to convert the selling price into cost price. Right on, one more important topic, problems on averages. Problems on averages. In general, average means equal distribution. In general, average means equal distribution. So in what way it is the equal distribution? For example, let us assume there are three persons. Let us assume there are three persons. Person A, person B, and person C. Person A, person B, and person C. Person A salary is person A salary is hundred rupees. Person B salary is one twenty. Person C salary is one forty. Person C salary is one forty. The salaries of A comma B comma C are different, but whenever you have to take the average, whenever you have to take the average, the total salary hundred plus. 120 plus 140 by 3. It means that it means that what is the total? 360 by 3 that is equal to 120. Now the average salary of A is 120. The average salary of B is 120. The average salary of C is also 120. So whatever the salary, if A salary is 100, now the salary of A average is 120. A is getting 20 rupees extra. B is getting the same salary, but C is previously the old salary is 140. Now it becomes only 120. So C can reduce 20 rupees from his share. So average means the equal distribution. So in general, in general, how can you find the average? The average is equal to sum of the to sum of the observations by sum of the observations by total number of observations total number of observations clear so whenever they given some of the observations by the total number of observations every time every time we don't want to follow this formula for example for example if they give this type of example right down find the average of Find the average of 1233 comma 1235, 1237, 1239, 1241, 1243-1245. One forty-five. So whenever they given the numbers, we know the average is equal to sum by total. Yes. So what are the numbers? Thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, twelve, thirty-six, twelve, thirty-seven. Sorry, these are the odd numbers, na? Thirty-three, thirty-five, thirty-seven, thirty-nine, forty-one, twelve, forty-three, twelve, forty-five. So whenever these given these numbers by using the regular method 1233 plus 1235 plus 1239 plus 1241 plus 1243 plus 1245 plus 1245. So whenever they given whenever they given these numbers whenever they given these numbers remember remember everyone this is very very normal method to get the average because some of these numbers take some of these numbers takes minimum one to two minutes time minimum one to two minutes time but if you have to go for average concept if you have to go for average concept understand by everyone for example if they give the smaller numbers understand the concept one two three four five what are the average what are the average 
1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. Yes. So what is the total? 5 plus 4, 9. 9 plus 3, 12. 12 plus 2, 14. 14 plus 1, 15. 15 is the sum. The average is nothing but 15 by 5. That is equal to 3. That is equal to 3. For example, if they give 10 comma, 20 comma, 30 comma, 40 comma, 50. What is the average? 10 plus, 20 plus, 30 plus, 40 plus, 50. What is the total? What is the total? 150 is the total. 150 is the total for how many numbers? 5 numbers. It means that the average is 30. The average is 30. If you have to take the even number, what is the average? 2 plus, 4 plus, 6 plus, 8 plus, 10. Means total how much? 30. Total how much? 30. 30 is the sum of how many numbers? 5 numbers. The average is 6. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. If you want to go for the average, 1 plus, 3 plus, 5 plus, 7 plus, 9. What is the total? 25. 25 is the total. 1 plus 3, 4. 4 plus 5, 9. 9 plus 7, 16. 16 plus 9, 25. 25 is the sum of 5 numbers. The average is 5. Hope some of you understand the concept. Yes? Clear? 7, 12, 17, 22, 27. What is the average? 17 is the average. So whenever, whenever, if you have to take, if you have to take a series of numbers, series of numbers with a common difference, series of numbers with a common difference, then the average of that group, the average of the type of group should be a middle number, should be a middle number. So that may be the difference is 1, that may be the difference is 10, that may be the difference is 2, that may be the difference is 5, whatever the group, a group of numbers with the common difference, Whenever the series is in arithmetic progression, the average should be a middle number. The average should be a middle number. For example, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. The average is 30. 30 is the middle number. In case if they give only four numbers, then the average is the middle number. But there is no middle number directly. No? But the answer is not 20. Answer is not 30. What is the middle number between 20 to 30? 25 is the average. 25 is the average. Clear all of you? You must get it. Okay. Clear? Sorry, down. Note, point number one. The average of the average of the average of a set of numbers the average of a set of numbers with common difference with common difference is always be a middle number is always be a middle number is always be a middle number. Second one. Second one. If each number, if each number is is increased by n, if each number is increased by n, increased by n are subtracted with the n are multiplied with n 
are divided with n then then new average of new average of that group of numbers new average of that group of numbers is also is also is also is also increase by n is also increase by n are subtracted with n are subtracted with n are multiplied with n are divided with n respectively respectively for example the questions like uh, the average of a set of 10 numbers is 50 i don't know what are those numbers okay if each number is increased by 2 the new average will be 15 plus 2 new average will be 15 plus 2 okay the same thing will be effect on the average also did it yeah most important topic ma yes ma yogesh i saw your messages so shall i move for examples yes May I go for example. Right down. So what is the answer? There are seven numbers with the common difference. Then the average is the middle number. So what is the middle number? 1239. 139. Next one. The average of 2 comma 7 comma general example, there is no shortcut here. The average of 2 comma 7 comma 6 and x is 5. The average of 2 comma 7 comma 6 and x is 5. And the average of 18 comma 1 comma the average of 18 comma 1 comma 6 comma x and y 18 comma 1 comma 6 x and y is 10 is 10 then what is the value of y then what is the value of y So they are not giving the numbers with the common difference. We have to go for the regular method. Here 5 is the average. Yes. So whenever 5 is the average. S is equal to. A is equal to S by N. 5 is equal to. Sum of the numbers by the number of numbers. So 2 plus 7. 9 plus 16, 15 plus x is equal to 5 into 4, 20. From that, x is equal to 5. And another group, 18, comma 1, comma 6, comma 
x means 5 only and y is 10 5 numbers sum is 5 numbers average is 10 means a is equal to s by n a value 10 given sum 18 plus 1 plus 6 plus x plus y x means 5 only by 5 so 10 by are 50 do it fast now 18 plus 1 19 plus 6 25 plus 5 30 plus 5 so y is equal to 20 x is equal to 5 and y is equal to 20 we need only y value now Hello. A man travels at a speed of a man travels at a speed of 60 kilometers per hour Sixty kilometers per hour on the journey from A to B. On the journey from A to B, and returns at hundred kilometers per hour. <coughs> and returns at hundred kilometers per hour. Find his average speed. Find his average speed of the journey. Did you remember? In time and distance, I already explained average speed concept. Whenever a person traveling from A to B and he returned from B to A, then what is the average speed concept? then average speed concept is equal to what is the formula we already explained in time and distance concept so whenever a man travels same distances with different speeds average speed is 2x by by x plus 5 so do it first every day you have to spend some time for practice average speed is equal to if anyone thinks that, sir, I'm not understanding whether the distance is equal or unequal, better to use average speed is equal to total distance by total time. One of the most important concepts. So average speed is equal to, what is the x value? 60 kilometers per hour. And what is the y value? 100 kilometers per hour. Clear? So 2 into 60 into 100 by 100 plus 60 so 120 into 100 by 160 so 75 kilometers per hour Okay, 75 kilometers per hour. Next one. The average daily temperature, the average daily temperature from 28th March to 28th March, 28th March to 28th March was 31 degrees. Was 31 degrees. And that from 21st March to, and that from 21st March to, yeah. 
29th mark was 32 degrees. Was 32 degrees. Okay. The temperature was on 28th March was 26 degrees. Okay. to find the temperature was on 29th March. The temperature was on 29th March. So here, yes, first of all, everyone knows the formula related to time average is equal to F by N. From that, average is equal to F by N. From that, S is equal to S is equal to A into N. S is equal to A into N. So S is nothing but sum or total average and the number of days or number of persons. 20th March to 28th March, including 20 and including 28. The number of days are how many? Including 20 and including 28. The number of days are how many? nine days nine days the average temperature is 31 nine is the number of days and the average is 31 is it possible to go for the total temperature yes so a value 31 given and the number of days are nine similarly 21st march to 29th march including 21st and including 29 the number of days are nine only again the average is again the average is 32 so do it pass my right down S is equal to A into N. S is equal to A into N. S is equal to A into N. Then, 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 total. 20th March, 21st March, 22nd March, and so on up to 28th March. And so on up to 28th March. So total 9 days into 31 is the average 279. Similarly, the total temperature from 21st to 29th, 21st plus 22nd and so on up to 29th, 9 into 32, 288. So if you simplify both the equations, 28th minus 29th March. So here, if we subtract both the equations, 21 minus 21 cancel, 22 minus 22 cancel, 28 minus 28 cancel. What is the left? 20 March minus 29th March. 20 March minus 29th March is equal to 279 minus 288 March minus, eight, minus 9. So 28th March 
what is the temperature they given clearly 26 degrees minus 29th march is equal to minus 9 29th march is equal to 26 plus 9 35 degrees then find the temperature on 29th march clear all of you next one remember there is one formula that a is equal to svn in general but it can be used in a different way s is equal to a into n write down the average salary of the average salary of same model the average salary of Anil Kama, Sunil, if anyone not getting, please post your doubt in the question box. The average salary of Anil, Sunil, and Nikhil is 18,000 rupees. Is 18,000 rupees. And the average salary of Sunil, Nikhil, and Arun is 20,000 rupees. And the average salary of Sunil, Nikhil, and Arun is 20,000 rupees. If Arun's salary is 20,000, if Arun's salary is 20,000, then find Anil's salary. Then find Anil's salary. Then find Anil's salary. Okay. So initially, Sunil. Anil, Sunil, and Nikhil. There are three persons. Three persons average is 18. So what is the total? S is equal to A into N. The average is 18,000 and N is the number of persons, 3. So 18 into 3, 54. 54,000 is the total salary of Anil, Sunil, and Nikhil. Anil plus Sunil plus Nikhil is 54. Similarly, Sunil, Nikhil, and Arun, the average salary is 20. 20,000 is the average. And number of persons are 3. 20,000 into 360,000. The total salary of Sunil, Nikhil, and Arun. If you subtract both the equations, ma'am. If you subtract both the equations, Sunil and Sunil cancel. Nikhil and Nikhil cancel. Anil minus Arun. Anil minus Arun is equal to 54 minus. 60,000 minus 6,000 minus 6,000. So Anil minus Arun salary is equal to minus 6,000. But what is the value they given? Arun salary is 20,000. If Arun salary is 20,000, Arun salary is 20,000, then find the Anil's salary. Is it possible now? Yes, do it first. What is the answer? Do it first. What is the Anil's salary? Yogesh, what is the Anil's salary? Yankaj. Do it fast now. 14,000 minus 6,000 plus 20,000. 14,000. Am I clear all of you? 
next one 14 to 18 next one the average of a batsman the average of a batsman after 25 innings was the average of a batsman after 25 innings was 56 runs per inning 56 runs per inning if after 26 inning if after 26 inning is average increased by is average increased by two runs is average increased by two runs then what is the score then what is the score in the 26th inning 14 is score in the 26th inning. Okay. So the number of innings are 25 and the average is 56. It means that the total score up to 25 innings, first inning plus second inning and so on 25 innings is a into n average is 56 into the number of innings are 25. Everyone, please understand each and every step clearly. I typed first inning plus second inning plus third inning and so on up to 25 innings is equal to 56 into 25. After 26 innings, nothing but up to 26 innings, the average is two, in, two runs increasing means 58 marks. So due to some score in 26 innings, is the average is increased. Up to 26 innings, the average is 58 means the total score up to 26 innings is 58 into 26. Do it fast. So this is the total score up to this is the total score up to 26 innings. If you subtract both the equations up to 25 innings, cancel one. What is the left? Term? Minus 26 inning is equal to minus 26 inning is equal to 1400 minus 1508 minus 108. What is the batsman score in 26 inning? 108 is the correct answer. Do it first. In a pair of you, next one. The average of a class of the average of a class of 30 students and a class teacher. The average of a class of 30 students and a class teacher reduces by 0.5 years. Reduces by 0.5 years when excludes the teacher when excludes the teacher if the initial average is 14 years if the initial average is 14 years then find the age of the class teacher
that you find the age of the class teacher. Yeah. Okay, so here, the total age, hope all of you understood now. Initially, the number of persons are 30 students and a class teacher. 30 students and a class teacher. Thirty students and a class teacher. So 31 persons average is 14. Yes, my Yogesh. I received your messages. But whenever the class teacher excluded from the group, the average is in decreasing by 5, 0.5. It means that 14 minus 0 0.5, 13.5. 13.5 is the average of 30 people. So total is 405. So if you subtract 30, 30 cancel, now 1, 2, 30 cancel, only 31 left. 31 percent is the class teacher. So what is the value? 434 minus 405. 434 minus 405. Sir, why should you have to multiply 30 into 13.5 or 31 into 14? Remember, all of you. Very easy to get the answer. Everyone, please see the screen. First of all, 31 persons average is 14. 30 persons average is 13.5. How to get it? How to get it? Please focus. Please focus without calculating. Directly, you may get the answer within five seconds. What is the gap between the old average and the new average? 31 is the initial number. That may be the persons, that may be the innings or anything. 31 is the initial number, 30 is the new number, 14 is the old average, and 13.5 is the new average. What is the gap between old average and new average? 0.5 is the gap, or 1 by 2 is the gap. 0.5 is the gap, or 1 by 2 is the gap. 0.5 into 30 is how much now? 0.5 into 30, how much? 1 by 2 into 30. One by two into thirty. Fifteen plus fourteen plus fourteen. What is the value? Thirty by two, fifteen. Fifteen plus fourteen, twenty-nine is the correct answer. No need to go for thirty-one into fourteen or thirteen thirty into thirteen point five. Clear? Same thing is applicable for previous one also. No? What is your answer? 108. Whenever your answer is 108, how to get 108? 25 innings. The average is 56. 26 innings. The average is 58. What is the old average? 56. What is the new average? 58. What is the gap? So whenever the gap is 2, 2 into 26, 52, 52 plus 56, 108 is the correct answer. But here, why should you have to go for plus? Whenever the number of innings are increasing, the average is also increasing. Whenever the number of persons are decreasing, the average is also decreasing. It means that 
the number and the average is directly proportional if it is decreasing average decreasing if it is increasing average increasing that is the reason you have to go for plus otherwise you have to go for minus okay write down a note write down a note write down a note if the number of if the number of persons and the average is directly proportional is directly proportional then then newly added newly added inning score r newly added inning score r removed person a is equal to is equal to change in average don't think that it is the difference mark change in average nothing but what is the gap between the old and new average into the initial number of persons initial number of persons plus plus new average new average new average if you have to take a, in place of initial if you have to take new new number of persons in place of the new average old average got the difference of you clear okay second point second point second point if the number of persons and if the number of persons and the average and the average is inversely proportional is inversely proportional what is the meaning if the average is decreasing then the number of persons are increasing if the number of persons are decreasing average is increasing that is uh, inversely proportional that is inversely proportional then newly added inning score or removed persons age whenever they give this type of comparison be careful ma don't go for the regular method is equal to newly inning score or removed person age is equal to changing average into initial number of persons within the bracket minus new average because inversely proportional don't take the negative sign or change in average into the new number of persons minus old average don't take the negative sign Clear? All of you noted down. Okay. Write down next one. the average weight of 29 students is average weight of 29 students is 28 kg the average weight of 29 students is 28 kg to stop by the admission of new student 
assessed by the admission of new students the average weight is reduced to 27.8 kg the average weight is reduced to 27.8 kg the weight of the new student is the weight of the new student is so here what exactly is the given the comparison na 29 students 28 kg admission of new student means adding 30 student the average is 27.8 number of persons are increasing one number of students 29 becomes 30 increasing but the average is decreasing then both are inversely proportional so you have to take the minus what is the gap what is the gap 28 to 27.8 2 is the gap so that may be inning score or weight or age whatever it may be 0.2 is the gap 0.2 is the gap clear so what is the value of 0.2 into 36 minus minus the old average 28 don't take the negative sign minus 28 so 6 to 28 how much 22 is the correct answer that is the correct answer between 30 into sorry 29 into 28 minus 30 into 27.8 marks clear all of you next one next one Twenty-two. <coughs> Please take it properly. clear ma next one a cricketer has certain average a cricketer has certain average per 10 innings the cricketer has certain average per 10 innings in 11th inning he scored In eleventh inning, he scored one not eight runs. In eleventh inning, he scored one not eight runs, thereby increasing average by six runs. Thereby increasing average by six runs. Find the new average. So first of all, please note down what exactly they given. Then it will be easy to you. Ten is the old inning. 
and 11 is the new number of innings. Very clear, number of innings are increasing. So up to 10 innings, we don't know what is the average, it is X mark. But in 11th inning, newly added inning, the score is 108. Newly added inning, the score is 108. Due to that, the average is increasing by X, six runs, X plus six. Then find the new average. Did you remember whenever they give this type of comparison, how to find the 11th inning score? The gap six is the gap into 11, 66 plus 66 plus X is the 11th inning score is 108. From that, 108 minus 66 is how much? 42. So X value is 42. You want to go for the new average or old average? New average. New average is X plus 6. Nothing but 42 plus 6. 48 is the correct answer. 48 more. 48. Do it cost. Otherwise, if you want to go for the regular method, this is the regular method. Okay, this is Malafi party uh, eight. Next one. The run rate of general example, first of all, give some preference for all the models. The run rate of first to 15 overs of the cricket game. Wait for five ten minutes. I will end up the session. The run rate of first to 15 overs of the cricket game is 4.8. If the target is 294, if the target is 294, then, then, what should be the average run rate for the remaining 35 overs? So first 15 overs, 4.8, 4.5 is the average for the number of over 15. Now remember the total score is 15 into So 72. If the target is 294, the remaining score is 292 minus 74 should be done in the remaining 35 hours. So what is the average? Triple 2 by 35. Triple 2 by 35. Point three four. So up to that, any doubts now? 
hope all of you understood. Okay. So this is about the problems on averages. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you all. Any doubts, anyone? Thank you all.